today I'm going to show you guys how I come up with my ombre bold lips. This is a requested video by one of my subscribers that saw my air video on Sunday and they were like, I need to know how you did this red lips. Let us know, share your tips and tricks. And I'm like, oh, I got you, I got you. So today's video, I'm going to show you guys two to three different kind of ombre bold lips you guys can try at home or whenever you guys are going anywhere now that they are finally releasing yours to go out and things you're going to need you're going to need you're going to need your lip brush if you don't have a lip brush you can definitely use anything that you can use in your in your makeup pause then sometimes I go in with my lip pencil if it requires the look I'm going for then for the particular look I had on Sunday I had this wine lipstick this wine matte lipstick trust me guys this lipstick is old AF I've had this lipstick since God knows when I honestly cannot remember when I had when I bought this lipstick but yes I had the lipstick since I was in Nigeria I think I bought it for 100 naira which is less than maybe that's how much this is less than 50 cents yeah so like i bought it a very very long time ago and honestly it's still doing the job and i used my mac lipstick as a topper this is the ruby wool lipstick for that particular lip i went in with this black eyeshadow right here i just used it to like line my lips like this I don't really like to overline my lips because it's not my thing. Some people do, it fits them a lot, but I don't like it. So to get like that V-shape on your lip, especially if you had done your makeup before, is you want to get your concealer or your foundation into that part. So now you want to brush this black like into your lips a little bit. You're not adding excess product, mind you. What I did was I took my my wine lipstick like this. So you take your red lipstick, a very bright brown one, very red red. If I did not use this, I would have used my um, fancy um, red lipstick. Any flat brush you have, you take this, any excess product you have on it. So now on to lip number two, I'm going to take my blended sponge. To get like an ombre look, to get like very deep ombre look, you're not going for the purple and all that, you would have to like most times do a brown or a Pretty much the same thing like we did the other time, but this time around it's just a different kind of ombre. I'm going to take this pink just a little bit, mix it with the black, just a little bit. The reason why I'm using that pink is just to create like a nice transition between the black and the nude I'm about to use. For the nude lipstick, yes, I'm going to use my concealer this time to give me that nude nude. Because I don't have a very nude lipstick and this is what I always use when I want to get like this very nude lip. Because this concealer is too shouty and I'm not liking the nude shade it's giving me, I'm going to go in with a dark nude that I have.
for the final lip i'm going to do a purple and a pink again so we're going to go in with this purple this very purple shade in this palette but you are still using this palette we're going to go in with this very purple shade in this palette and we're going to use that to line our lips Then you take a pink from that palette, that same palette. Then like we did with the other two, you line it and we're done. Voila, and we're done. I'm done with the three lips. Just to make this a little bit more even, you can take your sponge and just dab it all over. And take your sponge and just dab it all over. Yeah, different ways to make like mixed colors to make an ombre look. I hope you guys like it. Let me know which of them was your favorite look. Let me know which of the looks you would be rocking. And if you ever get to rock any of these looks and you like it that much and you want to rock it, please tag me. I want to see the looks. I want to see what you guys are going to create like with these ombre looks. And thank you guys for all which English is hard. Thank you guys for all which I tell you English is hard. Thank you guys for always watching the Tinny Ash channel and I promise to see you guys on Sunday as per usual and please do not forget to click the notification bell down below so whenever I upload you guys get an alert and also if you're not subscribed to my channel like I always say you guys kindly subscribe to my channel for you to still be here at this point is because you enjoy this content. So kindly subscribe to my channel. I love you guys. I love you, love you, love you, love you. See you on Sunday.